Hey, it's Tesla Canuck. This is just an initial test of the full self-drive visualization. It's a great day for uh, Tesla owners who are outside of the US because now we get this. Yes, we do. For the longest time, we've been waiting and waiting. Now we finally have visualization. This is fantastic. Let's just go for a quick drive. Um, I couldn't wait. <laughs> I just got the um, the 8.1 upgrade. And um, yeah, you know, I'm going to do a more in-depth video about this, uh, this update and the visualizations in Canada. Uh, this is just, you know, a teaser pack, if you will. Is it a pack? It's only one video. Well, no, if I do another video on the upgrade, it becomes a pack. So, or a series. Maybe I'll do a trilogy. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Anyhow, um, this is very exciting. If there wasn't snow on the ground here, I might be, I might be tempted to try the uh, the uh, autopilot and see whether or not it reacts to shooting past a stop sign. Uh, we should have that feature here in Canada as well now. But clearly, um, we've got the visualizations. Let's go and uh, let's go. Let's go for a drive. <laughs> it's just after eight o'clock p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. I kind of live in the boonies. It's not too busy right now. Um, let's check it out. Okay, so we have autopilot going. And uh, we've got a red light ahead. Um, kind of goes on to a major road, though. <laughs> I'm not going to give this one a lot of time. I'm not going to take this to the edge uh, just because that road is so busy. But I am curious to see what it's going to do as it approaches this light. It is, it is, it was going to go <laughs> right through it. Okay. Um, this is interesting. Like I said, us Canadians, this is new to us. Uh, so clearly it sees the light. It can see the color of the light. At least we saw the green. It looked a little bit gray on the red. So I'm wondering whether or not it didn't pick up that, um, that light. So Okay, let's, let's try this again. Okay, we've got autopilot on. And dial back the speed a little bit. <laughs> There's some cars coming. Okay, clearly I'm not going to let this go very long. Wait a minute, wait, something's happening here. Something's happening. Oh, it could be because it sees the cars turning. Let's see what it does here. Let's see what it does. Negative, negative. It is not reacting to red lights. So it looks like here in Canada anyways, that we do have the visualizations, which is great, but we do not have uh, that feature where autopilot will react to, uh, to a red light and presumably a stop sign. Uh, I'll have to find a stop sign to try that as well. But like I said, I'm just gonna take, it is a very quick video. Um, you know, I just wanted to do an initial impression this is the first time I've driven with uh, the software um, 8.1 update and the full self-driving preview with the visualizations. So this is raw. Um, you're experiencing with me for the first time and uh, looks like there are some differences with the release outside of the US because I'm pretty sure I've seen a lot of videos um, about the full self-drive preview in the US where autopilot is reacting to a red light. If you're um, from the US, you're watching this, you have a uh, full self drive and you have the um, full self drive preview and hardware three. I do have hardware three now. Obviously you need that for the visualizations. I really wanna know um, if the reaction at a red light works in the US or at a stop sign. All right. Uh, that's it for just this quick, simple first preview. Tesla Canuck, over and out.